let, let me, I'm, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna sort of, um, I don't want to spend a ton of time kind of sharing my thoughts on this. I, I do wanna set the stage a little bit. Can you guys see my screen here real quick? I wanna chat for five minutes kind of to, to set the stage for our topic. Troy, can you see my referral marketing app bridge slides? All right, cool. All right, so let's, um, this is the question that, that, that I want you all to ask yourself, because this is the essence of what we're going to dig in today. So how am I thinking about my business in terms of my ability to scale solely by getting referrals based on the service my team provides and the people I know? So ultimately, this is the question probably four years ago when I was more active in the sort of uh, Wizard of Oz role in my real estate team. This was the question that we really asked ourselves and it, it, it pushed us to completely get a paid lead, get rid of paid leads and completely get out of mass media and still sell hundreds of homes for a year, very, very pop profitably and have a very, very simple business. And so I'm not going to be the, the, the negative person here, but for sure the shift storm is, 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 is here. Um, and it's likely going to be, be prolonged. Hopefully, you know, once a month, we do a market update. So we'll continue to bring you guys resources from, you know, maybe the more rosier side of what, what a, a softer landing could look like. And then what a longer term, you know, multiple interest rates, hikes and, and, and that sort of environment. Um, but also generally as an industry, real estate agents, the, the service as an industry completely sucks. Like most agents, I'm not saying anyone on this call, I'm saying most agents you know, do not earn their commission. Remember, this was, it was in 2007. One of my first deals was a $620,000 deal. Um, and I remember thinking to myself, it paid 3%. And I was like, I didn't have an assistant at that point. And I said, there's no way. And they had picked out the house. I'm like, there's no way I'm earning $18,000. Like, there's no way that, that the service I'm providing um, but then I sort of got to work and made sure no matter what, I can provide a legendary service. Um, all the lead providers at this point are going after as much commission as they can. So, so, so just understand that if they could take, you know, 40 or 50% of, of your commission check, they, they will do that. Zillow, whatever you think of Zillow, that's kind of the, the, the leading indicator um, here in terms of, you know, they used to charge per lead. So you can get really, really good at lead follow-up and lead management and get a, you know, eight to 10 times return on Zillow or even 10 times plus. Now they charge 35%. So by definition, you could only make a three to one return on Zillow unless you get sort of follow-on leads. Um, and so, you know, they're going to continue to get after it. All these little bolt-on AI, you know, nothing wrong with Y Lopo or nothing wrong with, you know, this bolt on thing or this bolt on thing, but it's all being bolted on to, to, to get more return out of, you know, what, what shouldn't be uh, a lead source that, that we, we rely on. And then just sort of riding the, the wave of the economy. But I want to end with this quote, and then I'm going to have Stephanie chat about an experience she had with, uh, and this is the order. I'm going to go Stephanie, David, and Justin. So we, we had a 10 minute talk in our boardroom, which is our larger organizations we coach in real estate B-School. And Stephanie just gave this awesome talk. Turns out that Justin knows the owners of this company. That's a, a turnkey system to essentially, you know, do right by folks that have been in your world and use this concept of giftology. And David, you and I will have a, have a chat about that. But um, I don't love everything about Gary Vee and the whole rise and grind and, you know, work Friday nights at 1 a.m. because no one else is working. But this 100 percent, this is the book from the Thank You Economy, which is, is an awesome book. Um, I believe we're living through the early days of a dramatic culture shift that's bring up, bringing us back full circle and that the world we live and work in now operates in a way that is surprisingly similar to that, uh, to the one of our great grandparents. Social media has transformed our world into one great big small town dominated as all vibrant towns used to be by the strength of relationships, the currency of caring and the power of word of mouth. And so I think there's going to be a decision today in terms of how you want to run your business and where you want to place any investment. And if uh, there are ways to put in money and get out more money, 
it's not the only way to do real estate, but generally that's a, a good thing. If you can put in a dollar and you can get eight to 10 plus dollars out, we're going to talk about a system today that has the potential to get a 20 plus X return. Um, Steph, hopefully your reception is good. So Steph, essentially, I want you to give your 10 minute talk in like five to six minutes, <laughs> or two, a two minute talk. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hopefully we'll stay there. So, um, yeah, we really love doing client or I, because I'm the expressive in our marriage. Um, Greg is more of the amiable and just likes to grind and, and take listings and everything. But when I came into the business, I really enjoyed the more like fuzzy things. So I love client appreciation events. I love all that kind of stuff. So this really spoke my language because I like gifting. And so um, a couple of years ago, I think it's probably been about 18 months ago, we found a company and Frankly, there's probably several companies doing this. I don't even know how I got a hold of Client Giant, but I put 31 of our clients on what they call a top of mind um, experience. And it's $99 a year if you pay it um, at one time, or you can pay like $10 a month or something. So we would pay $99 and we just pick 31 of our most popular or um, people that we thought, okay, these are people that really are kind of dialed into what we're doing over on our team. And so they get a quarterly gift and it's not a typical, like it's not Christmas or it's like a random time, which I think also adds to the value of, Hey, this is just a random gifting. And um, the latest one uh, or one that we got in January, for example, was like a weighted eye mask. Like we all love the thing. I went out and bought another one because I really liked it. They're really nice gifts. I feel like this is their loss leader as a company to do these top of mind gifts, because to me, they're more valuable than if you like equated, okay, this is a $25 gift, right? If, if you're spending a hundred dollars a year on a client, um, they're usually more than a $20 gift. Um, and of course you got to ship it to the person. So to me, I'm like, this is a value. I don't have to think about it. Um, these are really, um, I guess you would call them like first in class gifts. Like they're really nice. So like one time we got a diffuser and it's not a cheap diffuser. So use the diffuser. I've had it for a year. It smells great. Um, so they're just kind of random gifts. Maybe you're somewhat popular at the time and you don't have to think about it. So, um, we now have 12 people that are on are, we don't really know when they're going to be, and it doesn't really matter to us um, when it is. But of course, there's tracking numbers and things like that. We can look and see how things are going. But we just added, we went from 31 um, to 112 in the last couple of months. So we haven't been able to do, I haven't done a study yet about, but just to give you a really quickly, um, we had 31 people on and we had five closings we made $75,000 um, off of our five closings and we had spent $3,100 on our um, top of mind gifting. So we were like, okay, this, this makes sense for us, you know? And obviously it's not gonna be a million dollar property every time we're in a, um, a lower um, area. Our average price is about three to 350. So some of you guys are gonna be in markets that are substantially larger. Um, but it's just been really helpful. So I'll just stop there and see if there's any questions or thoughts. Awesome. And Justin, I'm going to give you a, a chance to chat as well. So Stephanie back in, this was back in probably April at our boardroom uh, session where she told this story and I had never heard of client giant. Um, but then it turns out that Justin, one of our business coaches, um, actually like knew the owners and then connected us. And I've since gotten to know them and just really, really good guys. And um, I, I should mention that this is something that I, th I think Jessica's on here. Um, Jessica on our team has done like an amazing job of like, she didn't write the book Giftology, but it could easily be. There's a book called Giftology and I think it's written by, I remember seeing a video at my C12 group uh, and C12 is a Christian business owners group. Um, so I think the person that wrote Giftology is in C12. So it's a small business owner. Um, but I don't know if the, uh, David, you might, I, I'll talk to you about Giftology. But anyway, it's this book where I feel like Jessica on our team, who's been with me for 13 years, and she's always had this heart 
of like similar to, to, to Stephanie. Um, and Stephanie, Stephanie talks about not being in production, but I think they sold like 500 homes last year. So she, she just means she's not personally selling homes at, at, at this point. Um, but this tactic can use for anyone at any level of production. So I, I don't want anyone to think that that statement sort of, you know, excludes someone who's only selling 10 or 20 homes a year, or even if you're an agent on a team uh, or that sort of thing. So, um, and Jessica, even one time, and I'll just, I'll just brag on Jessica, um, I forget what this was for, uh, but I, I received, it was probably a boardroom gift. I received a gift and it, it was like in like parchment paper from like the year 1200. And it was like tied in a bow. And then it was like a wax stamp, like securing the thing to let me know that no one else had like breached, you know, like back in the early whatever days. Um, and then I come to find out that, you know, there was like some touch and touch and go moments with the kids and hot wax. And like, it was this whole, this whole arts and crafts thing. And I joke with, uh, anytime I see Jessica's husband, Jason, he's always looking at me like, do you know what we go through as a family every time these, these gifts goes, goes out. So in, in our heart at Real Estate B-School, it's just rewarding people that we love and that are part of our inner circle. And this just allows us to provide leverage to it and let someone else sort of think of these thoughtful gifts and to, to send them out on our behalf. Um, Justin, uh, let me let me have you share a little bit uh, and you use it in the context of the transaction as well. But talk about your experience with uh, with this uh, lead source. Uh, sure. So, I mean, I love uh, Client Giant. Um, I had put 20 of my top clients in there for top of mind. And then I would just add clients in for transactional purposes too, because they do this whole like opening gift that's like a stress reliever kit and then they do like after you really um, remove contingency they send like a bunch of cardboard boxes and says like start packing you know congrats and then there's like these little milestone gifts and I really liked it and so I don't do it for all the gifts I kind of like tailor it so if I know the client then I'll say okay this this uh, client giant route is the way to go other clients that are more like on a personal level uh, uh, we do it in-house we kind of are indeed um, Jay and David's uh stuff and and like I even like Jay told a story about like when he would do an opening gift with three bottles of champagne and a little note card in it like opening a bottle of champagne throughout the transaction each time like once it gets offer accepted one time when you're removed contingencies and then at closing so we actually took that and we do that in-house and then we do little gifts in-house but like for um, recently I've been really liking that client giant has been adding different layers there's all kinds of different services now and they've really been growing a lot there's even down to like employee packages so you could have a employee gift package that goes out and then it's like sends them birthday cards a couple gifts throughout the time throughout the year um you know there's just all kinds of different um things that you can do with it and and with my 20 people that i had in and now i'm actually when um you know when after that boardroom meeting um i i got the challenge on too so i just signed up for like another 100 people and i'm just going to start filtering them in there and so now we're up to 37 i think and so we've been adding plans on some of them are top of mind plus for like more of our VIP clients that send me multiple deals a year. I do big transactions with because those gifts are a little bit more expensive. It's 250, I think a year. And um, those are a little bit more elaborate gifts. And then for like smaller clients that um, are just like maybe people in my neighborhood that I've become really close with their friends that send me referrals every once in a while, I put them on the top of mind gift now. So it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. And uh, their site's really easy and then you can kind of load everybody in there. You can pause the, platform um have really a lot of a lot of success with it and you know uh, uh leaning into that more and more um now i'm putting my employees into into packages and giving them stuff and um you know jessica actually sent me a nice gift when i was really sick with covid i was sick for like three weeks and she sent me this cool care package and uh, just like those little touches i think go a big way and i think client giant streamlines it and scales it on a, a really good um, uh, a good level for us you know so. yeah that's awesome um, before I get David on here, David is uh, is with Klein Giant, and, and we never use this community as as a way to promote something that's not in like just a slam dunk in terms of you know what something you should be doing in your business and everyone should be doing in their business. Um, anyone else have experience with Klein Giant or can speak? Uh, and Jessica, if you have anything to say, um, a lot of the times when Jessica sends stuff out, like. People text me they're like, oh, like Justin will text me like, thanks so much for, you know, that care package during COVID. I'm like, uh, like you had COVID? 
(laughs) (laughs) Definitely not my heart. Uh, I'm more like, okay, let's, Justin's going to be fine. Let's move to the next. But but that's cool. Cause like that same thing for us. And I don't know if Steph's seen it too, but I get my clients will send me pictures of the gifts that we send them. And they're like, and this is so cool. Thanks so much. And it's like, you get three or four or five of those. It's pretty fun, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. Anyone else, anyone else have any comments? Uh, and then David, I'll, I'll have you come up here. MH. Nope. I'm going to mute MH. Oh, it's not letting me mute MH. Um, all right, David, why don't you start talking and I'll, uh, I'll pin your video. Where are you? Right here. Oh, there you are. Let me pin you. And uh, all right, so David, so um, let's let's kind of ch- let's kind of chat with this uh, a little bit. I know you've got something that you want to lay out, but talk about like uh, I set the stage for just a conversation on you know how you can kind of do good and and sort of have that that influence, folks. Mh, can you mute yourself? Oh, I think Mh just just left. I couldn't mute Mh. Um, so so kind of take take the conversation from there as a company. I mean, I know. When I, I forget who I was on with, uh, but you were on the call as well. Um, I, I mentioned the book Giftology and like one of the founders, you know, lifted up the book and just had it like right there on their desk. Um, so, so chat. Yeah. So, so chat a little about, a bit about the, the company, you know, why it was created and, you know, why you guys are seeing such crazy results for your clients. Okay. Why it was created a, a need to have an automated gifting system, right? So um, necessity is the mother of invention. So here's most agents that use us, Lars and everybody, are those that just cannot handle this anymore, the client appreciation because they're scaling, right? And, or they just don't wanna do it. That's just not their thing. And so they'd rather outsource it. What I I really wanna do is because some of you are gonna fall in the category of like, you know what, well, I really like doing that and I do have some time to do that. So what I really wanna do is give you the playbook, like exactly what we do. I'm gonna give you the strategies. And then for those of you that fall in that category of, I just, I don't wanna do this or I don't have the time to do this. There's a higher and better use of my time. Obviously we can do it for you. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. So um, everybody get some notes. I'm I'm gonna give you the playbook. And I want to start off with, with a, um, a statistic that, that NAR puts out every year. And you guys, you guys are experts in this, so you're going to know this. It, it hasn't changed, by the way, for the past like five years that, that they've done this. And what they say is, out of the contacts in your database, 86% of people would refer you or they'd use you again. And on average, 20% do. Not the referral rate, not your, your referral rate of, you know, of business each year, but 20% of your contacts are your brand promoters, right? So if you have 100 people in your database, you have like a top 20. So what I want to do right now is set a benchmark. So think about your, your past 12 months of transactions, how many people in your database either set you a referral or they were a repeat buyer or seller. So let's start with the, with the benchmark and just ballpark it. And what we want to do here is we want to start to bridge that gap. And obviously this is a long play because if we were to call everybody in your database, statistically 86% would say, yeah, I would refer um, Andy Christensen. Of course I'd refer her. She's amazing. She's a great agent. Of course I would. But statistically only 20% are, and that's what we want to solve. And, and uh, Lars, if you would, if you would sh- uh, give me screen sharing. Yep, I made you co-host. You should okay, have Okay, it. cool. All right, cool. All right, so let's get to the statistic. All right, so 20% would, or 20% do, 86% Your screen would. is a little bit warped. We can see your desktop and not. Um... Oh, hold on, hold on. How's that? That is perfect. Perfect, okay. So let's start with the benchmark here. And by the way, this is something that we like to track. So Stephanie, um, you had mentioned that you're, you're beginning to track this now, is that right? Correct. Okay, this is something that we, that we wanna track. The gifting team that we have that does this, we have a whole team of writers and, and giftologists 
and we need this data because obviously we want your referral rate to increase. And that's how they come up with all their gifts. It's something that they're planning each quarter in their focus groups. What gifts are getting the most referral rate, thank yous, social media praises, and that's what they use to build upon their next gift. And we have a, we have a huge sample size to work with right now. And the good news is, to my knowledge, I think Lars, you mentioned when you first found us, um, there were many companies that were doing this. To my knowledge, this is the only company that was specifically designed for you guys, for real estate agents. All right, so in other words, our sample size is basically the real estate industry. All right, here we go with the playbook. And we're gonna break this down so it's not, I mean, we're not gonna overcomplicate it. We're gonna break it down to five do's and five don'ts. You with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, first thing. And Stephanie, you nailed it. Surprise them. Not to say that it's a bad idea to send something on their birthday or if it's you know, um, a holiday or anything like that, but ask yourself this, when, when you have a birthday, how many messages, how many text messages, how many gifts, you know, all of this, are you getting, especially if you're active on social media? And when, when that happens, is somebody's gift or their message or whatever it is, is it, is, it getting, is, it get, is it getting diluted by the noise that's happening at that time? So first strategy, first strategy is to surprise them. Stephanie mentioned this, right? We call it planned randomness. Surprise them. Because if your gift or your whatever you're doing, your message, whatever it looks like, if it's the only thing that they're getting at that time, it's going to stand out. And we've tested this. The response rate goes up exponentially. Okay, so write that down. Surprise them. By the way, we, we happen to, on, the, on what we've been talking about, this, the, our top of mind plan, we chose, you can choose anything, but we chose a changing of the season as a reason as to why they're getting the gift. Right, so it's a winter gift, it's a spring gift, summer gift, fall gift. But again, you can choose anything. We just chose that. Second thing, I don't care what the gift is. A card, a thoughtful message. Once again, we've tested this. The response rate goes up again, goes up tremendously. When you can add a thoughtful message, a thoughtful card, addressed by you, response rate goes up and um, Stephanie, we talked about this, and I'm going to have you chime in here. When you first did this, I think what you had said was, correct me if I'm wrong here, that you had first started off with the team name, and then you just did your first name. Is that right? That's right. And we're still kind of playing with this a little bit. So we originally started with the Greg Sisson team, and then um, we went to Greg and Sisson as who was sending the gifts. And so we've gotten a lot more responses with that. Um, now we're trying to figure it out because we do have a team. And so some of these are not even our client, you know, they are our clients, but Greg and I've never met these clients. So we're trying to figure out maybe where we would have some that are addressed from Greg and Stephanie Sisson. And then some are that are addressed from the Greg Sisson team. But I think sure. more so you can go in, you can go in and change it. So what we do is we go in and we change it for each client and you set it up that one time. And like, if that's my buyer's agent George it says George Justin and the Miller team or the Miller group you know and we just, and and then if I even sometimes if they're friends and family I had Justin Petra and the Miller team you know what I mean so I kind of tweak it and then once I set it I set it and forget it because you can go in there and make that adjustment for each that's client right. it's that's a little right. bit tedious at first but once you set it then it's done you know that's right and we'll do and we're, we're, at the end here what I'm going to have everybody do is is uh is just to create a an account you know it's going to take a minute so that you can see what the system work, um, looks like and Stephanie, so we started testing this, right? We started testing this a while back. And what you had mentioned, it, 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 was, it was what we had thought was happening. When, um, remember, we're doing this for your SOI, we're doing this for your past clients. So they're gonna know you, right? Especially if, you, if you've kept in touch with them in some way, whether it's marketing or whether it is some relationship centric way, they're gonna know you. So if you can just do first, maybe last name, but not relate it to what your company is. Because remember, this is a relationship-centric follow-up strategy. We're not to get this mistaken by, by, a mar you know, by a, a marketing your brand. This is a thoughtful gift for them. So when we just do first and last name or first name, response rate went up. Okay. Lars, I think you had mentioned about one of the gifts, or maybe it was Justin, uh, the rediffuser. So here's another strategy. Whatever you're sending, make sure it's gonna be something visible. Right? Not that you have to do this on every gift, 
but make sure at least some of your touches are going to be gifts that are visible. Things that, that are going to be, a lot of the stuff you're going to be like, yeah, that's a no brainer. But we, we forget sometimes. Make sure it's a gift that's not going to go into a drawer or a closet or it's going to be something that's going to be displayed for months to come so that you remain top of mind. Make it last. If applicable, stay away from edibles because edibles, the, the impression, if you think of this as a cost for impression, as soon as they eat it, drink it, whatever, you're out of sight, out of mind. If you can make it last, again, not in every gift, but if you could make some of your gifts or a majority of them last throughout the months, throughout the seasons, you're going to remain top of mind. And then last, best in class. So choose categories that you can get a really nice version of it, right? Really nice version and still keep your, your, your investment on that gift within your budget, right? So think of, think of luxury, luxury candles, right? The difference between a, um, like think about this, I can send you a $200 TV, which would be a cheap TV, or I can send you, you know, a $30 candle, which would be a really nice candle that would be visible, that would be lasting. So think in, in those categories. All right, so those are five basic do's. Let's get away, let's, let's now talk about the things that we wanna stay away from. And again, this isn't me saying it, this is, this is in the book, and we've tested this now for going on four years. Do not turn this into swag. I can't say that enough, do not turn this into swag. They're gonna know what's coming from you, your name's gonna be right on the card, right? That's why it's important to have a card there, but the, like any type of branding or logos, stay away from that, if anything, if there is going to be some branding or there's going to be some etching, make it your clients, right? Their names, you know, their family name, their, the, the date that they bought their home, they closed on their home, things like that. But let's not turn this into, there's a place for swag and it's not this. Practical gifting. So going back to the first five do's, staying away from anything that's going to add clutter, right? We, we, none of us like clutter. So Staying away from things that are just going to, again, go into a junk drawer or they're going to get re-gifted. Let's stay away from that. This is a huge one. Huge one. And Stephanie, you're, you're, now you're, and Justin, you both sp spoke to this. We, we tend to wait for something to happen to then gift, right? We gift at close. We, uh, we, we gift when we get a referral. When we get ahead of that and we, and we gift, and, and I want you to, everybody to think about this. It's not about the gift. It's about what the gift symbolizes. The gift is the symbol of the relationship. And all it's doing is it's opening a door for you to have a conversation to nurture the relationship, right? I, I'm, I'm gonna make a, a guess here and say that Stephanie didn't get those five referrals because they sent a gift. It opened the door for her to like, you know, remain top of mind. She and her team are great agents. It reminded her people of that and they felt appreciated and the basic law of human reciprocity was, you know what, I, I, I'm going to pay her back. So let's not wait for a referral. Let's get ahead of that, cast a wider net so that the referrals come in, so that you stay top of mind. Okay, do not be inconsistent. This is huge. You guys are going to get this, right? It's like anything else. The more you do it, the more you, the more you get back. So we tested this, and this is in the book as well. Minimum is going to be four touches. It's actually like the Goldilocks effects. Uh, you know, above that, it, it, there, there was no increase in referral response rate. Um, under that, it, it was definitely, it was a, a lower response rate and referral rate. So four was the Goldilocks, the, like was the Goldilocks effects. So four touches per year in the way of gifting. And last is casting a, don't cast a small net. So instead of just focusing on like your top 20, Think back to the, to the statistic that we found in NAR. 86% would be refers, but they're not. It's not because nobody on here is like a bad agent. It's, it's, the, it's not staying top of mind in a relationship-centric way. So begin to cast a wider net on your Bs, on your Cs, to turn them into As. Any questions on any of that? I like how you call them giftologists. I was curious, do you switch it up every year too? Like they don't get the same gift every year? Every quarter, they never get the same gift. I mean, 
the yeah. next year or two? The next year or two, exactly. You could have somebody yeah. on here five years and they'll, they'll will, will never repeat a gift. As you can imagine, okay. the, the team that does this, they, 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 have, they have a tough job. I, I, would, I, I would run out. Good news is I'm not part of that team or else this company would, would go up in flames. I'm horrible at this stuff. I would fall into the category of I'm not good at this. Let, let me have some experts do this. But yeah, they, um, they have a tough job. Every quarter, they have to think of something new. One of my clients that doesn't like, can't, like hate candles. Like anytime I go into an open house or a property or showing, he's like, turn off all the candles. Like, ah. <laughs> and one of the gifts is a candle. Like, is there a way to like swap that out or like make a note or is it too much of a headache? How's that work? Okay. This is a question we get all the time. Like what, what if they don't like the gift? All right. So we, we, we have to remember what, what the intention here is. All right. The intention is, is what? For you to stay top of mind. So let's say that, um, uh, who, who, who answered that question? Who asked Justin. that question? Me. Justin. 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 Okay. So Justin, you, uh, you hate candles in this scenario. Out of, out, of, out of nowhere, you get a candle that's in a really nice box, presented really well. And let's say it's, you know, it's a fall candle. That's what we're going to go with. Out of nowhere, it's on your door. Maybe it's in your mailbox. You, you, you get home, you Maybe see Maybe I can convert them to love candles with that generosity, right? Sure, right. Well, and they're going to give it, it to somebody else. Well, I got you, you, you it. See still, it, it doesn't it matter. It, doesn't, it just matters about giving them something. Even if, you don't, even if you don't like the gift, if it's on your door, you didn't, you didn't you know, it, it was unexpected. It was, it was yeah. a surprise. You open it up, it's well presented. There's a thoughtful card. Even if you're like, ah, I'm not really a fan of candles. What do you almost feel obligated to do in that moment with me? I, I sent you the gift. Do something back. You're going to thank me in some way. Yeah. You might tell me at that moment, hey, by the way, I don't like candles. Cool. Then I'll, I'll, I'll make a note of that. And, and on the next one, I'll, I'll skip that if it's a candle. But you're going to thank me. And that's all I want. I want, an I want you to call me and thank me in some way because I'm going to take that and everybody here is going to do the same thing as an opportunity to nurture our relationship that has nothing to do with real estate. I'm going to ask you about your family. We're going to talk about unreal estate related things. But you all know the conversation is always going to get back to real estate because these are homeowners. And then that's when you do what you're going to do, do your thing. So if you think of it that way, it's four times a year to connect with your database in a relationship-centric way that's always more than likely going to get back into real estate. What's the market like? Well, it depends. Are you looking to buy, sell, invest? Okay, here's what I'm going to do for everybody now. I'm going to put in... I just threw this in. Hold on. And I, I think I could probably ask, uh, Susan had a question, you know, so, so Stephanie kind of mentioned it, um, you know, that Stephanie told me this when, when she gets the gifts or she knows it's coming out, she'll like go into Amazon or go online and say, knowing that she paid 25 bucks for it and see it like, you know, it's 30 or $35 when you buy one you know, and then they work in shipping or whatnot. So yeah, so, so the game is to make this a, a scalable business, Client Giant is buying, I don't know how many candles this, this quarter, but it's probably thousands is my guess. You know, so when you, when you place an order for 10,000 candles, you're going to get a better price than when you buy a single candle. Um, so I don't know how you guys manage all that. It doesn't really matter, but my, my guess is that yeah, it does. There's, you know, yeah. there, there's definitely economies of scale working. Sure. There is now. It's not when we first started. When we first started, you paid a huge execution fee because we weren't, we weren't scaled. Now we're at a point where the dollar value of the gifts are around 25 and 30. And the more people that do this, the more it goes up because we can get more and more and more. Um, by the way, we're not doing a candle this just like we keep talking about candles. We're not doing the candle this summer. For those of you that are like, I hate candles. Don't worry. There's no, <laughs> there's no candle this summer. Okay, did everybody, does everybody look at it, everybody look in the chat right now? I just threw in a link. Did everybody see that? Yep, I posted okay. it in Facebook too. Okay, so here's, here's what I want everybody to do for the next five minutes. Go, go click on that link and I'm gonna have everybody create an account. And once you do that, I'm gonna give you all five minutes. Once you do that, I'm gonna share my screen again and we're gonna go through the technology piece to this. This is gonna look more, it's, it's gonna look, much like a, a CRM, but there, it's a, think of this as a gifting CRM. It's not to take the place of your current CRM, but that's the functionality of it. So five minute, five minute pause here where everybody creates their accounts. Make sure that you use the link that, because 
I'm going to hook everybody up for those of you that, that do move forward with us in order to get that incentive, that link, we have to be able to track it through that link. So make sure you use that link. And we get to give more gifts when you guys sign up. That's right. This is not going to retire me, guys, by the way. It's <laughs> totally affiliate, but it's not going to retire it's me. It's not at all. <laughs> In fact, I'll, I'll say this. Um, the, uh, not only is it not going to retire you, I think, I think Lars will, 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 will probably be able to buy you like lunch for the next month. It's like that. Our, our margins are pretty thin. Lars is not doing this for the affiliate. I'll tell you that. He's doing it because he really cares about you all. And he knows this is something that's going to help you streamline your business potentially generate a, uh, you know, an ROI. And that's, that's why he wanted to present this to you all. And you'll probably go over this, but my, my guess is, so for someone where, you know, maybe signing, you know, a hundred people up at and paying the 99 for the mm -hmm. year is, is cash they don't have, but it, did Justin hit it right that you can put people on that four touch program for like a, a dollar per month? Mm, no, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be amazing. Wouldn't it? No, I don't <laughs> think I said that. Did I? I yeah. There's, no, there's, it, different, there's two different things. <clears throat> top of mind plus and top of mind regular. And, well, uh, Justin, and I think what packages. you're saying was, yeah, I think what you were saying was um, you do get it. You, you do, we, we do discount some of the rate, not discount. We, we, <laughs> lower our fees because when we're able to when we can order this like we can when we can pre-order we're able to get a better deal from our vendors so when you pre-order and you say hey i'm going to take care of all four gifts up front um you get a you get 20 dollars off because we can actually order those from our vendors and we get a discount or it's 9.99 per month which ends up being 120 by the end of the year so justin that's what you're talking about so for those of you that are we would be saying hey i want to do 100 but I'm not going to drop 10 grand right now. Don't worry about that. We have monthly installments is what, is what Justin was talking about. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was talking about. Okay. As you're all doing this, we're going to, we're going to watch a really quick video on, on top of mine. And your screen is a little bit wacky. Is it, again. Is it wacky your, again? Yeah, it's showing your desktop. Keep, all right. Hold on, man. How about now? Yep, now it's working. Now, in fact, you know what? I'm going to start off with uh, Justin with what you were talking about the packages. We're going to start off with that. Then we'll watch our nurture play, and then we'll and then we'll we'll do a demonstration of the technology. Here we go. The gold package consists of six thoughtful, helpful, and shareworthy touches that begin arriving to your clients immediately after the transaction is under contract and last well beyond closing. Each one accompanied by a personal note from you. First, your clients will receive a carefully crafted stress relief kit to calm the anxiety that buyers and sellers often feel at the start of the transaction. This consists of stress relief tea, a head scalp massager, handwritten words of encouragement, and a custom notepad with a pen that reads, things for my agent to worry about. Next, moving supplies that include boxes, tape, and other packing items will arrive at your client's door. One less thing to worry about. When conditions are lifted and the sale is firm, a surprise gift box will be there to celebrate the important milestone. Next, your clients will receive an email inviting them to a simple online portal, facilitating their forwarding of address and transfer of utilities with ease. Once the transaction closes, your clients will receive a genuinely thoughtful, handwritten card congratulating and thanking them for the opportunity to be part of such an important transition. A couple weeks after your clients have taken possession and most agents have disappeared, your clients will receive a surprise personalized gift that will live in their home for years to come. Examples could include an engraved bamboo cutting board, etched wine glasses, or even monogrammed leather coasters. As always, everything is addressed to your clients from you. You will be notified two days prior to each touch with details of the gift being sent as well as how each note reads. Client Giant is a ghost in the process and will never be seen or heard of by your clients. I muted you, David. I think there's some feedback on your side, but it, it, it came through okay. You have to unmute yourself.
All right, let's give it another few minutes. I see a lot of people coming in, so we're going to give it two more minutes. And a, a lot of our group, I didn't think about it. Um, there's a big event in Florida, a shareholders event this week. So a lot of folks will come back and watch this afterwards, which is cool. Nice. Imagine what your business would look like. How's the screen? Good. If every client knew how much you care. <gasps> <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about a real cool platform that I've been using now for about a year. Here we go. You ready? So the system is called Client Giant. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the gentleman that created this company is based out of California, I believe. Um, actually, was a real estate agent before, and they still probably could be a real estate agent. But real estate agent that saw a need to have a service that automates a gifting type of program. And I've got the best responses. I've actually gotten three listings from being a part of Client Giant for only a year now. Yeah. So it, it's already paid for itself. Imagine effortlessly delivering the kind of experience that turns every client into an army of repeat and referral business. We got Robert Garcia, and he's gonna be talking about how he's made $100,000, probably a little bit over that, just in a year from his database. Important that when you receive a referral, you, you show, express your gratitude. So we use a company called Client Giant. This Ooh, is for Ooh, that's a good one. That should be good. You know what I like uh, that you did, Dave, David, uh, I just, you know, recently noticed you guys added the house hunting toolbox, which is kind of cool. hundred bucks, sends them out like a little iPad, I mean, an iPhone battery charger, a book and tape measure and a keychain. Like, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Here, we're going to look at all that right now. We're going to go into the back. So everybody, everybody has an account right now that, that wanted to create one. I'm sure I'm going to you one more time. And... Take a tour of the dashboard. Okay, so when you first come in, when you first have your account, you're going to see on the left hand side all these links. The people section is where you import your list. Really easy to do. So you're either importing a list here or you're adding your contacts in individually. And by the way, all that's required for us to send these gifts out are contact names and addresses. If we're doing transaction packages, an email, but it's really simple to add, add people. And um, if you already have them on a list, really easy to import. Under services, this is the gifting engine. And Justin, you were talking about uh, things that we've added under the like the, the house hunting toolbox, there's a there's this 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 thing can almost get overwhelming. There's so many different things that we've been doing. Here is the best way to start this. Best way to start it is with your foundation. Your foundation is going to be your top clients. So that's going to be your top whatever, right? So it's your top 25, your top 50. Those people that are already sending you referrals, those who, that's who you start with and also like your past transactions because you just did a, de did a deal with them and you're still in that, that honeymoon phase, if you will. Um, best practices, that's what most agents do that are doing well with this. And then you begin to scale and start to migrate some of your, you know, your, your Bs and Cs on. And then everything else you see in here, like birthdays and situational gifting and transaction packages, all, all of these are, can be an a la carte when it makes sense to do it. The most cost effective way to do this is top of mind, 99 bucks a year, stay here. Otherwise you can spend a lot of money on all this other stuff. Stay right here, start there, get a return, and then you can start you know, top of mind plus and transactions and all these other things. I, I, I like that, you know, when you take Stephanie, so, so th their team, Greg focuses on listings. He'll do about 175, 200 listings a year, just himself personally. 
And then they've got seven or eight agents that'll do the, the 300 to 325 or so combinations of, of sellers and buyers. And um, even that size business, and, and they run a, a proper economic model, so they're making the kind of money they should. Even they only started with 31. So, so just to touch on your comment, who knows if anything works anymore? We're just marketed to like by a thousand different companies. Like this is going to work. This is going to work. Sure. But essentially they, they took that $3,100 and turned it into $75,000. And this was April. It was, they were six weeks in. So they started in March. So three, less than four months, they did a 25 X return on their investment. And now they've paid for probably five years of, of, of this system. Yeah. So you could, you could start small with this thing um, and, and essentially roll, you know, snowball the, the, the profits of this one system. I am just so excited about this little system, you know, for people that really understand this sort of like, this is just a separation from what the whole industry is pitching us. You know, the whole industry is pitching us like Zillow or pay-per-click or, you know, give us your money and we're going to give you these four buyer registrations or now like seller lead gen, the same crap on everyone has figured out seller lead gen at a high level, but they're taking 25 to 45, 25 to 40% of our commission to do a home light or whatever other crap there is on the seller side. And we buy into it because we can't do it any better. And this is just building. I don't care if there's 10 people in your database or a thousand people, this system works all the time. Well, here's the thing. It's not, it's not a new concept, right? No. Everybody, on, everybody on here does something like this, right? It, it falls in the category of client appreciation, whether it's something during the holidays or an event yeah, or closing gifts, most agents, most of us are doing something. So all we're talking about here is taking something that you're already doing and making it bigger, better, faster, systematizing it, using technology, using other people to think about these things, having sample sizes that are in the thousands to like, you know, collect the data from. And now, now you just have to think, and here's an exercise you could use right now. Think of those top 25 that you have or the top 50 or whatever it is, and think about what you're currently investing in that right now, and then subtract that from what you'd be doing with us. Right. So in other words, if you're, if you're saying, well, I, I typically spend, you know, $50 on, on my clients a year. Okay. So you're not, you're not spending 99 with us then what you're doing is you're spending 49 and you're getting your time back you with me you're like you're getting your time back and having an actual team do this for you yeah and jeff jeff asked a good question and i've actually come i sort of have mixed feelings on on closing gifts um because it's sort of it's sort of expected it's like what every other freaking agent does most of the time so jeff i, I hate to say like but then I've come around to like seeing Jessica do what she does on the gifting side. But Jeff's question specifically is, you know, would you recommend this in, in place of or in addition to closing gifts? So the, the, the video that we had seen first, the transaction packages, that would definitely replace the closing gift. Now those start, by the way, those start at 349. So the, the, those aren't cheap. It's a, it's a whole experience package, right? So if, if it's the right property, if it's the right client, it makes sense, you know, it, it's it, with your, with what your commission would be, then yeah, sure it would. Um, most agents, and Justin was talking about this, most agents will either do that or they'll pull some of the strategies that we're using from that and do it in-house. You know, if you're not doing hundreds of transactions a month, usually that's, not, that's something that, that, you, that you can handle on your own. But obviously we have it available for, for you. The, the, the no-brainer thing is like the top of mind. The 99 bucks a year to take care of your top 50, top 100, whatever it looks like, that, that's something that even if you were to go and do this on your own, you're going to end up spending more money. 100% you would. Yeah. If you, if you put 100 in and you even pay the monthly, you're at 1,000 bucks a month to send gifts four times a year to 100 people. There's no way you could replicate it. And Jeff, to just really even to plant the seed, you know, we got away from closing gifts almost across the board. Um, and we still had our, our, our sort of, you know, clients for life program. So, so we kind of did stuff throughout the year, but, but not in the context of a transaction. So, so I think you could put that $99 program in place, 
yeah, they might sort of scratch their head when someone else is opening a closing gift in the attorney's office and they're not opening one. But I think you'll make up for it with the consistency of, you know, of the keep in touch program. Yeah, what I've seen, what I've seen most agents do with that, either they'll, they'll use this for a transaction package, again, if it's the right property, right client, or they'll pull a strategy out because this is not something that's expected. You know, if anything, they are expecting like, you know, a closing gift because that's kind of par for the course. Not to say they don't appreciate it, but remember the first rule is to surprise them. So if you can surprise them at under contract with something really small, because we know it could always fall out of contract, um, and then drip that, like if you're, if you're planning on spending like a hundred bucks or something, if you can kind of drip that experience throughout, that's basically what we're doing in the transaction package. We're just, we're just dripping it throughout and then surprising them every step of the way. And that last gift that goes out, it actually goes out two weeks after close. So we do, a, a, in that video, it showed it, handwritten thank you card at close. And then two weeks after, they're definitely not expecting anything. And then they get that last gift, which, which, which is what you would think of as a closing gift type. That's when we've seen, hey, thank you so much. You treated me so well. Like, what can I do for you? Well, um, now that you asked, you know, reviews, referrals, right? We want to position them in a way where they feel so obligated to pay you back because you've treated them so well. And whether you're doing this because you're just a great person and you want to do that, that's cool. Or whether you're, that's just not who you are, but you want to make money. Well, you're going to get it. it I don't care which, which way you're, which way you're, you're thinking the, both things are still going to happen. They're going to feel good. You're going to feel good. And you're going to increase your referral rate because you're already getting referrals. Everybody think about this right now. Everybody on this, everybody on this call has gotten a referral before. For sure you have. Why? Start to think about that. Why? Are you a great agent? Yes. But something else happened. You connected in a way that nurtured the relationship where they wanted to pay you back in some way. That's all we're talking about is increasing that four times a year, having an opportunity to nurture the, the relationship so that you increase the referral rate. And I'll, I've got to close this out here, but I'll, I'll end with this, you know, and some of you may not know this, but the economic model, the, the, the safest economic model to follow allows you to spend 10% of your total GCI in a given year on marketing. Most agents will sort of go out of control with that and just try to buy business and not track anything and, and it kind of can get out of control. But if you think of even, you know, to Jeff's question, if you think of even that 349 package and, you, and let's just use a round number of a $10,000 commission check and let's assume it doesn't fall out and, and they might over time, but that's only 3.5% of that commission check are you spending. And I would have to imagine it's going to return. I mean, the numbers sort of speak for themselves in terms of a, you know, 15, 20 plus X return. And you're only spending, you know, 3.5%. So you're well under the economic model for, you know, and then you take that, that hundred dollars. So the 349 plus a hundred is four, 450 essentially, you know, even a hundred for a, a few years for that client will still keep you under 10% for that one transaction. Sure, sure. And then here, it just snowballs. Here, here's, I know you have to close this out right now, Lars. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do for everybody on the call. Uh, I'm gonna share with you three average starting points. And Stephanie and Justin, you, were, you, you, were, you nailed the first one. So we're, we're, we're seeing three average starting points. And because we're all on this call today, and this is really cool, I added some incentives. So um, everybody that's created an account, <clears throat> for those of you that you're like, hey, I, I, I love this. I want to start with, you know, at least my top 25. I, I added some, some, some goodies for you. And I'm going to show you what they are right now. I thought you were going to give us all a free car. Like, didn't Oprah give like free cars? <laughs> free cars. Uh, yes, love client giant. All right, hold on. Here we go. Here comes the candles, Jeff says. We get all free candles. <laughs> all right, two things we're gonna do here. So first, first gift, first gift is gonna be a buck, and everybody that started an account, you'll already see it in there. You're gonna see send your first give out for a dollar, right? So that that's just like a like a one-off thing. Uh, second thing is, these are the three average starting points that we see. So most agents are starting with like their top 25. Usually these are newer agents or ones that are just kind of wanting to like you know dip their their toes in, if you will. And then second would be growth, your, your agents that are scaling. And then we see teams 
like Stephanie's that are saying, hey, we're a team, we're expanding. Those we see like their top 100 coming in. And so what I've done is I've added some incentives at every, at every uh, you know, starting point, if you will. So for oh, those nice. that are- at the, at the two, at the expansion, you've got two gold packages yep. in there and then one gold package at the growth. Yeah, that's right. And then even, even at 25, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in $100 of credit into your account so that you could use, basically you're gonna get your 26 on us, on the house. Awesome. Yep, so, right, here's cool. what so here's what I'll do right now. For those of you that know, like right now, even on this call, like, hey, yes, I'm in, I'm gonna do expansion, I'm gonna do growth, whatever it is. Uh, if you would do me a huge favor and just type that into the chat. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, I or somebody from my team will call you. Either way, what we're gonna do is we're, gonna, we're all gonna give you a call and at least get you started on that dollar gift. But for those of you right now that you, you know for sure, like, hey, I'm, I wanna do startup or I wanna do this or I wanna do that. Uh, type that in so that I can make a note of it and make sure that you're taking care of it. Because here's the thing, the next gift. All right. So we have one startup with Darren uh, Sanders. Brian Anderson, Darren Sanders, Troy Martinson, right, Ben so Gray. Have, all right. So we have Troy, we have Darren. All right, you take those names out. I'm going to pray us out. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for a little bit of time today. Uh, lift up Client Giant and uh, just, just the lamp they are in the industry and David and his, uh, his efforts. Uh, all of our um, members here in B-School and in Game Changers Nation, um, just with all the fear, uncertainty, and doubt, allow us to stand firm uh, and just to do the work every day that ultimately glorifies you. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Carson is on the startup. All right. We have awesome. Carson. And, and this, will, uh, this is in the Facebook group. There's like 4,000 in the Facebook group. So we'll, I can we'll send, I can send this. this via from the chat as well after if you oh, know yeah, yeah yeah Jessica if you would send that over that'd be that'd be that'd be excellent please awesome Dan Burg Burgesson Wisconsin Dave De Silva yeah awesome all right guys much love much respect we'll see you guys soon be good see you soon.